these uh, challenges have been, you know, it, as the as the, the national programs have become stronger, uh, IRI has uh, started putting emphasis on uh, certain areas where uh, the national program, where IRI had a comparative advantage, like going into uh, into molecular biology, biotechnology. Uh, and uh, we stopped naming the varieties because the national programs have very have, uh, have been very have become very strong so we supply them the germplasm but the challenge will continue to be for iri to find new things you know which uh, which uh, can uh, help the national programs in breeding i think we have to to continue to look for the avenues for increasing the yield potential putting new sources of identifying the new sources of disease resistance, insect resistance, so that they can be, uh, can be supplied to the national programs and also use the new technologies of uh, uh, genetic engineering. It, the, the environment for genetic, uh, accepting the genetically modified crops is not as, uh, as uh, good as it should be, but eventually I think in few years the, the national program, the farmers and the other uh, NGOs, they will start accepting the, the genetically modified material. So that's, uh, uh, I think, uh, where uh, there is a challenge to, to incorporate those kind of techniques uh, into, into rice uh, improvement. Genetic engineering, the various uh, molecular biology techniques like uh, uh, molecular marker rated selection, uh, the identifying the QTLs for these difficult situations, uh, uh, the drought, for example. So, it is challenge is to find the new technology, new uh, breeding techniques, and incorporate into the into the uh, breeding approaches, with the focus in increasing the yield potential and developing varieties with the novel traits, and uh, work with the national programs.